good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a special video for you guys we're gonna run through every single custom wwe elite action figure that i have done this year i believe there's only one custom in here that somebody has done some work on and it's just the head scan but for the most part i believe i did every single thing about every single custom in this in this video here today and i'm very excited for it. we got every single custom i've made in 2019 i didn't do the count on the total so i need somebody to sit through the video count how many we have and then let me know down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate that. I didn't count them beforehand because I'm a stupid idiot moron idiot dumb stupid idiot moron dumb. But nonetheless guys we're still waiting for my Elite Series 69 and who knows it's, if it's even coming. Who even knows? I mean is it even on the way? Is it here? Who knows? Let's let's just uh, let's just continue on with these customs guys and uh, maybe, maybe Elite Series 69 will be here tomorrow. Probably not. So with all that being said guys let's go ahead and dive straight into all of these customs that we have done here today from 20 2019. I guess we could start off with probably the most recent custom, guys, and it is this Cedric Alexander. I got a lot of great compliments on this, and I really appreciate it uh, from when we posted it the other day. You guys can see here, it's sort of that Spider-Man attire. We did switch the torso. I haven't added the fade to the hair like I want to, um, but maybe I can go ahead. Well, let's knock these two out together because they're pretty much the same thing. This is pretty much a fix-up, but I, I, I count it as a custom. If you're if you're torso switching, guys, I kind of count it a custom. You know, you kind of you kind of customize. Not really the biggest custom, but you know, I, I still count. It. But here you see he does have a Spider-Man look with the red and the cobweb design and then you have the CA on the back. You got the red and blue, all the good stuff. Then you have the Black Panther design from WrestleMania and you guys can see there on the back. Really nice. I really love Cedric Alexander so I wanted to have a custom of him and uh, I'll probably buy some more in the future but the only thing that sucks is I have to get more torsos like this because I don't want that small torso but you do have both necklaces on there. Everything's good. Really enjoy these Cedric figures. Next up guys we have some Kevin Owens figures. The first one is the, one, uh, the Kevin Owens from the Royal Rumble, the MDT Royal Rumble. It's got the Kevin F. and Owens shirt, and we did switch the arms. We painted um, some of the black. We had to fix up some of the black. We repainted the beard a little bit on this head scan, and we added white outsoles to the shoes. Right here, we have another Kevin Owens, and this one is just an updated 2019. He actually has more tattoos now. I need to fill in the gaps that are missing. All this is actually uh, done now. He got all this you know, added. He has some more tattoos of some different animals still in there, so I'll probably have to go in and add all of those, but I have not done so just yet, so I'll have to do that. Another Kevin Owens that we have done, guys, is this Kevin Owens Live. This is the one that uh, I had that I was going to use for MDT Live before I made the Kevin F. and Owens one, and the final one that we have is this other fix-up slash custom Kevin Owens, which is the same exact thing as the KO Live, but it is a different take, different t-shirt design, but it's roughly the same figure, and it does have the smaller arms, which makes it better. So we have four KO this year alone and we probably have more to come who knows what he'll do in the pick fed what he'll look like different customs all that stuff and I may end up redoing his tattoos on another Kevin Owens elite I guess we'll just have to find out but there are four Kevin Owens customs next up guys we have a Dolph Ziggler figure and this one's sort of custom you know it's got some paint job on it compared to the others but it is a Bret Hart lower and what I did was I took the boots off the Bret Hart I cracked the torso I filled in some pink paint right here where it said Hitman and then I think I did something else. Maybe that's all. I filled in the pink paint right there, sealed that up, and then I switched the boots with Ziggler boots, switched the torso with a Ziggler torso, added some basic arms and a head scan, added the hoodie, and bam, mama, lama, jamma, you have a beautiful pink attire, Dolph Ziggler, in which you've seen this guy wear it on MDT Live. You've seen him at the MDT Royal Rumble in this attire, and I really do like it. I really like it a lot, and I'm so excited for Elite Series 70 Dolph Ziggler to see what he looks like. Uh. We're actually going to find out at Comic-Con next weekend, so I'm super duper freaking excited, man. Next up, guys, we have a few custom Seth Rollins. We have the Punisher attire, which is probably one of my favorite customs I've ever done. We got the vest on there. You got all the black and white going around. Punisher being one of my favorite Marvel characters, probably number two. We have all the black and white going around. You got the SR, SR on the back, all the white details in the boots and stuff. I hate that you can see the red underneath there from where I used the SummerSlam figure. It's not a huge deal, though, but I do love the Punisher Rollins. He looks freaking epic sauce. And then we have my other Rollins that I have done this year so far. I like I've done more. I guess I've just done a lot of fix-ups um, that aren't in this video, but we do have the, uh, the the 2019 Royal Rumble where he won the Royal Rumble. 
the Chicago Bears inspired attire had to do that one. So we have both Rollins figures. Let me know down in the comment section below which is your favorite. I'm sure you'll say the Punisher. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have another Punisher custom, and it is the Jeff Hardy custom. And just like the Seth Rollins, this one's probably one of my favorites. I freaking love this so much. You guys know he rocked this at the MDT Royal Rumble. When you put all the accessories on it and you have the all black attire with the Punisher t shirt and the face paint, the white gauges, the white streaks going through the hair, and you add in the all black shoes and just everything going on with this figure, I really do love it. It's probably one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. I just think it's really unique. I've never seen anybody else do something like this. And so I, I really enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorites. And I think uh, I think it'll probably be one of y'all's favorites as well. I know that a lot of people have given me some great feedback on it, and I really appreciate it. Really, really strong figure. Really love that one. Next up, guys, we have a Finn Balor custom from WrestleMania 35. It's the Demon, where he took on Bobby Trashley and won the Intercontinental Championship. And you guys know how this one is. You got the big old design on the chest. You got the face paint, all the teeth going around, knee pads. All of this is hand-painted by yours truly. You got the back design there. You got the back design on the trunks. All of the stuff going around. This figure took me, I think, a day to make, but it was a day of straight just sitting there and painting, guys. It took me a minute, and I really like it. I think it come out great, and I'm excited for, you know, uh, that, that Jack the Ripper Finn Balor that we're supposed to get at Comic-Con. You know, I'm excited to see if it's going to have the ripped torso, because if it doesn't have the ripped torso, guys, I'm going to have to cry in the corner, and I'm going to have to add it to a video, and I really don't want to have to do that, so please give us the ripped up torso. Thank you. But anyways, there is the WrestleMania 35 Finn, one of my favorite customs again. Probably one of my stronger customs of the year. Really good stuff there. Next up, guys, we have this all-white Alistair Black. It's the white attire. You guys know how I am about the color white, and so I had a second Alistair Black Elite, so I wanted to make a white version, and there you go. You got white tights, white and gold knee pads, and then you have the white design on the back. You also have some Shelton Benjamin kick pads, which I really do need to go in here. Somebody said I, they wanted to see me fill in all this black with white, and I may do that. I think it'd be pretty sick, and then maybe just leave the black outsoles. I think that would be pretty cool. I'll probably do that one day. I do have some Citadel Air white paint, and so I could probably go in and make that happen. I'll probably do that one day, just, just not on my agenda at the moment, but there's Alistair Black. Next up, guys, we got some uh, NXT call-up talent. We got Matt Riddle. We have uh, we have uh, Lars Sullivan. We have Velveteen Dream, and then we have Ricochet. All four customs made this year. Not all of them are called up to the main roster, obviously, but I did want to... Uh, put them all here in the same segment together. You have the Ricochet figure, which the head scan was molded by Mad Reaper, but I did custom paint it myself, but that's a really strong figure, which should be replaced by now by Elite Series 69 Ricochet, but I don't have it yet. So as soon as that figure comes in, I will be switching out my uh, custom ricochet here for the uh, the Elite Series 69 one, but I had to include it here today in the video. We have the Matt Riddle. Not my favorite head scan. I may switch it out. At the time, I really liked it because I hadn't seen anybody else do it. It kind of favored Matt Riddle, so I went with it. It's not complete trash, but I think I like the HBK Elite 19 head scan better, which is where this hairpiece came from, and then, you know, I switched it, and now it's all aft, and I may have to buy another one, but I really do like this Matt Riddle. You got the white tights, no painted... No paint necessary, just a straight up Matt Riddle figure. Then we have uh, Lars Sullivan, who I don't like at all, but I wanted him for predictions videos and reviews and stuff, so I did make him here. Nothing too crazy, red trunks, boots, Undertaker head scan, made him bald, added the tattoo and the chest hair, nothing nothing too cool. And then another fix up slash custom is just this Velveteen Dream with the Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin torso, which looks great and fix it up nice. That Velveteen torso they give him is way too jacked, so I had to fix that up. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have my Royal Rumble Kenny Omega which is just this Elite Champion attire. You guys know the Elite is on the butt there, but it is the same logo that can be found on the Elite Championship, if you guys never knew that. So I just copied the logo that's on the Elite Championship to give him that Elite attire, and then on the kick pad, I gave him the Omega logo, and after that, it's just your basic Kenny Omega head scan that uh, I made with a longer beard. I like the longer beard for Kenny. For some reason, I'm just stupid, and then just regular part switching, a little bit of paint and some part switching, you got yourself an Elite Champion Kenny Omega. Next up, guys, we do have three more customs. We have this Fandango fix-up slash custom, and then we have this AJ Styles Elimination Chamber figure, and then we have this Bad Luck Fale, which the glasses fell off of. I still haven't added the, the hands yet, but we did do all the tattoo work. We did some part switching. We sanded off the hair. We painted some grills, some facial hair. We sanded off the facial hair. Uh, a lot of work went into this Bad Luck Fale, which I really appreciate and like. The only thing is, is you put the glasses on, it does look a lot better, so I like to leave the glasses on. But it's not terrible without the glasses off. It's just something that, uh, 
you know, until they give us a better formula to make a bad luck folly, then I'll probably be rocking around with this one. But nonetheless, it's a solid figure. We have the Elimination Chamber AJ, which is just pretty much different kick pads with white out soles. I made this the night of Elimination Chamber. Really, really simple, really easy stuff to do. And uh, yeah, made that one happen. So there is AJ Styles. And then you guys saw it's just a torso switch with that Fandango because that Fandango torso was so massive. I mean, my lord, we had to switch it, and it looks a lot better with this uh, Randy Orton torso. And now, guys, getting into the speed round, we have a ton of Finn Balor customs to finish us off. We have a current 2019 Finn Balor from SmackDown Live. My boy Rodney made the head scan. I love this figure. Probably one of my favorite fins in my collection. So we do have this Finn Balor with the blue and white and the white kick pads and stuff like that. There is that one. We have NXT TakeOver Blackpool Finn Balor. We we have Money in the Bank 2018 Finn Balor. All of these were made in 2019, though, guys. At the beginning of the year, I made all of these different Finn Balors, so uh, bear with me here. We have the St. Patrick's Day Green Finn Balor. We have the Survivor Series 2017 Finn Balor. We have the Money in the Bank 2019 Finn Balor. We have the No Mercy 2017 Finn Balor. We have this all-white fantasy slash live event attire Finn Balor. We have this fix-up Finn Balor that I just switched the lower legs and then uh, put some white kick pads on it. Really enjoy this fix-up. Really beautiful. Sort of like a take on the NXT Takeover Blackpool, NXT UK Takeover Blackpool Finn Balor. We have the Elimination Chamber 2018 Finn Balor in the blue. We have the Extreme Rules where 2017, I think, where he took on Trash Corbin. We just recently got an official figure of this from Mattel. Uh, you know, in the silver, it's the Top Talents 2019 Finn Balor, but I, I think I like mine better. And then we have the Royal Rumble 2018 Finn Balor with the dark red trunks. So if you count the Demon Finn Balor and you count all these non-Demon Finn Balors, guys, I think the total number of Finn Balors that we've done in 2019 alone is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 custom elite Finn Balors that we have done in the year of 2019 thus far. Pretty freaking ridiculous if you want me to be honest with you. That's kind of crazy to even think of that we have done that many Finn Balors. But we have, and it's it's ridiculous. That 13, I mean, my God, it's not even close to the next guy. I mean, we have one AJ. We got a couple Rollins, a Ziggler, a, a Hardy, a two, two Cedrics, four Kevin Owens, and then the rest are pretty much Finn Balor. So okay, we probably could have made a video alone on just the Finn Balors, but there is all the customs that we have made thus far in 2019. I'm sure there are plenty more to come, guys. I mean, 2019 is not completely over yet as fast as the year is going by, but thank you guys so very much for watching. You know, I'm just going to sit here and rot until Elite Series 69 shows up. If it's even on its way, who knows? But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below your favorite custom from this video. I would really appreciate it down below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.